Hello? Hello? Yo, bro. Bro, he's got a needle in his hand. He's got a needle in his hand. He's got a needle in his hand. We just want to check you're alright, mate. We've been waiting for you for about an hour. We won't enter unless you don't want us to. You alright, mate? Fuck off! No! No! We just want to help you out. No! No! We just want to help you out. Can you put the needle down and come chat no, to us? No! 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 Right, okay. An urban explorer has told us that he has seen you here. Right, you take drugs, am I right? What drugs do you take? It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's fair enough. Just relax. Now, obviously, we can see you're in a bit of a state, okay? We, we kind of just want to help you out. So you're living in this place, am I right? Yes. Okay, how long have you been living here? I don't know, but it doesn't matter. We can get you a hotel room. We can also get you some, um, some gift vouchers. Uh, so you can get yourself some new clothes, we can take you shopping, go out for some meals, have some proper food. But this is your room for the next seven days, okay? Okay. For real? Yeah, for real, bro. 100% for real. Not bad, is it? Oh, wow. Well, thank you so much, man. Nah, it's calm, man. Thank you, thank you. Oh, but, oh, yeah. So, oh, man. I don't know why it's got two beds, but maybe your friend could come and stay. Right, we'll see you in about an hour, okay? We'll bring the hamper down. I probably won't bring the camera, we'll just have a chat with you and we'll sort everything out you need. Make yourself at home, G. I'm like, Thank you. Ah, let's go, Luke. Enjoy your night. You Right, okay, um, I'm not going to be filming for long. Basically, I literally have just picked Luke up from the train station. Luke's there, give me the note, give me the note. Um, okay, and I've just got home. Daisy was literally been meant to be waiting for us. We're going to order some food and chill out. And I've just seen this note. Daisy is no longer here, and I'm starting to worry. Meet at the old local abandoned shed if you want your girl back. There's the note, you can see it right there. Not really too sure what it means. Bring it with us, because we might need it for something. We're literally going to drive now. It's like 15 minutes. Get your shoes on, get your shoes on. We're going to drive now. It's like 15 minutes to um, a, the local abandoned shed, which we've been to before, a year ago in videos. I don't know who the fuck this person is. I don't know why they've taken my pregnant girlfriend. I'm going to find out who they are, and I swear to God. Like, I bet you didn't expect this to happen, literally, as you just turned up in my house. We were just fucking going to chill out, you know, play, play a few games and that, and now we've got to go on fucking... Fine. Missions, bro, friend, but we've got to make sure she's good. I'm yeah, no, fucking no. worried, bro. Mate, right. we'll be fine, we'll be fine. I'm going to turn this camera off so I can do my laces up and we need to get out of here. Just relax. Quick, bro. I think it's this way. It's quite a long way down. This, there's, a, there's a cut through. There's a cut through. There's a cut through. Quick, bro. There's a cut through. There's a cut through. Here, here, here. Go through there. Go through there. Go through there. It's quite muddy. Be careful. Don't go through the middle. Oh, bro. Right. Get through the end. Bro, someone's put a plank, fuck, fuck. Right, we're in a big field. Right, I think, I think it's that way. Just go, just go, just go. Bro, I'm actually getting scared, bro. You good? No. You good? Yeah. I'm getting scared, bro. Because it's too dark and I don't actually know exactly where we're going. Just follow it round, follow it round. I think there's a left turn in soon. But I don't know when. I'm getting worried, bro. It's night, and I don't know why she's been taken from the house. I'm, bro, I swear to God, if I find this guy, I'm actually going to slap him so hard. Like, you have no idea. Yeah, through there on the left, through there on the left. Careful, it's going to be bare muddy. Right, I've just realised there's absolutely no point us actually running because he's got her. I don't know who it is or she's got her. They've got her. We need to take our time, we need to be calm and we need to try and find a way that we can find out that she's safe and she's okay without giving this guy any inkling or this woman any inkling that we're coming. All right, it's somewhere down there, bro. I haven't actually been here in over a year. I just remember what the local abandoned shed is. There's only one. And if we're wrong, then it could be anywhere. Absolutely anywhere. Here, Just careful not to slip. There's another field and then it should be a left turn then. And then there's like some dodgy places. Bro, you need to stack so many times. Mate, I, I can't say. <laughs> As I said, there's no point us running whatsoever. Because dangerous. we could just alert him and then he knows that we're coming and then it's all peak. Keep going, bro, keep going, bro. Just keep going. Just bear muddy, careful. 
we don't want to take we don't want to take one of us out because if we take one of us out we're not going to be able to check she's alright I've had to learn to keep it calm yes she's pregnant yes she's my girl but we've got to keep it calm otherwise we could cause more trouble Luke fam Jesus Christ mud of the century I'm going to try and be sensible because as I say if I break a bone I ain't going to be able to help her it's somewhere in that direction up there Right, it's left, bro. It's left. It's here, this way. It's here. Oh, oh, my bro, 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 bro. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. Take it completely easy. Take it easy. We don't want to give any alarmants that we're on our way. Bro, all I know is where the shed is. Just keep quiet and be slow. Come on, bro, you got this. Oh! Fucking hell, bro, you right? Be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Are you okay? Are you okay, bro? Yeah, yeah. Shit. You good? Right. Take it easy. Try not to make it too slippy. Wait there. There's a branch caught in your back. Oh, fuck. Ow. You all right, Shit. man? You all right? Right, Luke, remember, take it slow. Take it very slow and quiet. I don't know how the fuck he's weaved her through here. I am pissed off and I am worried, but I know that we can throw this whole situation and something bad could happen if we rush. Careful, bro. Fuck, Careful, stop slipping over, dude. Mate, I, I think we're here. Bro, this place is fucked, bro. It's collapsed since I last been here. Bro, this place is fucked. How could he be keeping her here? She's pregnant, G. It's gonna be fucking Bro, she's not in there. Have I got the wrong place? No, no. It can't be here. Hello? Don't no voice. Hello? Bro, it's this way. Wait, did you, wait, wait. Do you hear that? That's Daisy. Hopefully that's Daisy. Right, shh, shh, shh. Chill, 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 chill. Bro, bro, bro. Hello? Hello, someone there, please? She's on her own. Go, go, go. Hello? Get through the brambles. Get through the fucking brambles. Get through the fucking brambles. Get through the brambles, bro. Just get through the brambles, bro. Fuck. Shit! Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, step back! Step back! Yeah, bro! What's the goal? Fuck. Fucking leave her. Who's that? It's a fucking goal, yeah. The drug addict. Put that down. Bro, put that fucking down now. Get back! Fucking put drop it down, bro! Put it down! Get back! Put it down! Put it down! Get back! Sorry. Get back! You okay? Fuck you okay? Put it, put it down, bro. Put it down! Put it down! Get back! Get back. Get back. Put it down. Get back, get away from her. No, you get away from her. You fucking get away from her. Get away from her. Fucking step back. What the fuck are you doing, bro? Daisy, you right? Baby, you right? She's pregnant, bro. What are you doing? Just put it down. We tried to fucking help you. It's your fault. What do you mean it's our fault? It's your fault. How? What do you mean it's our fault? I fucking the streets because of you. What? We they kicked me out. We tried to help. Why did they kick you out? You didn't pick it up, Daisy. You know it's me. What? What do you mean we lied? We booked seven days, that's oh, a no. week. They kicked me out of the box. We gave you a week's opportunity to change your life, and just because right. you're some fucking junkie, you fucking ruined ah, it. Get away! Ah, Get back off! Why? Stop! Listen, you both got me kicked out. You Stop lied to me. Put, look, Mate, you you lied I swear before. to God, yeah? When that piece of wood gets put down, I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you. You took my girlfriend from my own house. How did you even know where I lived? You lied to me. You both lied to me. Put the we didn't lie. Piece of wood down. No! Fuck off! Ah. Step away from her now. Step away from her now. Look, you're, you're obviously not all there in the fucking head, mate. You're a nutter. I need I'm help. I'm bad at her because of Bro, there's evidence that we helped you. There's evidence that we helped you. Daisy, has he hurt you at all? Has he hurt you at all? Get away from her. Get fucking away from her, bro. Get away from her. Look, we try to fucking help you, give you support. The only reason you could have been kicked out is because you're some junky dickhead. Now you step away from her now or I'm going to fucking bat you out when that wood goes down on the fucking floor. Come on, no. This is your fault. Come on, please put it down and we can talk. Fuck off, man. Bro, fuck off, bro. Stay away. I'm back to drugs because of you two. How's that, How is that awful? How's, How's that, that, that awful, awful, bro? You lied to me. We what didn't do you mean fucking lie? lie. You both. Seven days in a travel lodge 
<sighs> and you're back on it yourself because you can't resist. You can't be bothered to actually everything go out we and did. Money. Everything we did. Look, calm down and we can fucking talk about this. Just put it down. Step come away on. from her. Put it down. Look, come on. Step away from look, her. Look, look. Right, we all need to calm down. We all need to calm down. I'll tell you something, she is petrified, she is pregnant, and you are a scumbag, right? She is about to give birth to my child, and you're leaving her on the floor in some dusty building just because you are back on drugs. You lied to me. You we told didn't me. lie to you. You told me it was a week. It was a week. It was a Why did they kick me out then? Well, I don't know, because you obviously broke the rules. After five days, they kicked me out. Did you have needles in the room? No. Mate, you made a mistake. We, we did it. So wait, wait. Let me let me just get something straight here. So, because <sighs> you were kicked out two days earlier of the warm hotel, you found out where I lived, and you kidnapped a pregnant woman, and then tried to get me to come and find her. That yes, is scummy. <sighs> and you want us to help you again? <sighs> just look. Put down. Put down that piece of wood, and we we can. Talk. I'm lost for words, Luke. <sighs> put, put it down. No. How much have you taken today? No. That's because I'm bad. calm right that's now. None of your business. But the minute that wood hits the floor, I'm going to beat the fuck out of you. <sighs> I don't think you realise what you've done here. We tried to fucking help you. Oh, it wasn't good, was it? It didn't help. Stand over there. <sighs> we gave you support. Yeah, okay. Stand you away from her. You're going to kidnap his girlfriend. <sighs> Are you alright, yeah? <sighs> Stand away. <sighs> Come on, put it down. I don't know who you think you are. Right, but it ain't our fault that you're back on the drugs. You're still wearing the same rotten clothes. We gave you loads of fucking gift vouchers so you could buy some new ones. Yeah. What happened to that? Did you spunk with that on drugs? That doesn't matter. What do you mean? Oh, back to the doesn't matters. We, we took this guy to Nando's as well. Back to the doesn't matters. Right? Come on, please. You look. are the only person that can change your own life. Right? I don't understand why... Oh, this Mate, you're this pathetic, guy. bro. We tried to You're help you. Scum. We tried to help <laughs> you. Step away. Step away. Step away, bro. Step away. Step away from him. I swear to God. It's cool, bro. We got. It. We got this. Come on. The last thing we need is to fight this guy in here when the roof's collapsing. Oh yeah. But look, this ain't even a well-looked-after abandoned building. Is this your new home? Is this where you're living? That doesn't matter to you. Oh, of course it doesn't matter no, to it us. Does. You've, After you've everything we girlfriend. did to you. After everything we did and helped you. You decided to come and kidnap her from our house. Are you okay? You're Speak this scum. You okay? Go on. Step away, Go on. bro. Step away. There's two of us. You just got a plank of wood. You're not gonna do nothing. You think we're scared of you? You're some crackhead. Go on. Go on. Go on. Step away, bro. Step away. Step away. Fucking wood down. Step away. Fucking hell. Luke, stay here with me. Just relax, look. Look, relax. You ain't got a weapon now. What are you gonna do? So you just some crack it. Go on! Get up. Get up. You piece of shit. Get up. Get up. On your feet. Get up. Right, hold him there. Right, hold him there. Relax! Get on the shoulder. You okay? You okay? You okay? He didn't hurt you, he didn't hurt you. Just relax, just relax, just relax. Luke, hold him there. You need to calm yourself down, mate. You need to calm yourself relax. down. What do you mean, just leave him? Relax. He Sorry. fucking attacked you. I'm not just leaving him, Daisy. Him. I don't care if he didn't hurt you. He doesn't want to hurt How did he get you? How did he get you? How did he get you? Does he even let me put my shoes on and I've got a pair of trousers before we even made me go? Yeah? But you're fucking big! Apparently he didn't hurt her. That's not the point though. This guy oh, deserves... We can either call the police... Just relax bro. We can either call the police or we can just leave him here. What do you think we should do? This guy's obviously not right. It's not right in the head but we offered him an opportunity and he should have taken it. He seems to be calming down a little bit now. Sit him down bro. Over here, sit him over here. Are you sure you're okay? Down there. Sure. Stay behind me at all times, yeah? I actually am lost for words. I don't know what to do with this guy in this situation. We were actually going to help you further. And then you did something like this. Why didn't you just contact us? Why would you come and kidnap someone? I ain't got my phone. Oh, it's just because he hasn't got his phone. Oh, for fuck's sake. Do you think what this guy's done is right? Can we just go home, please? We can. 
But we need to deal with him first. No, we don't. No, we don't. What do you mean, no, we don't? He broke into our house. Can we please go home? Some junky piece of shit. What do you want to do now, then? Leslie he wants to go. We need to go. What, and just leave him here? I can leave you here to deal with him. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down, bro. Just leave, just leave him, just leave him, just leave him, just leave him. He's not going to touch us, he's not going to touch us. I can let him go and have his next fix. Yeah, what poor little life. We tried to help you, bro. And you did something like this. Scum. I'll get you back for this, I will. What do you mean you'll get us back? What well, after what we did for you? After what we did for you? I'll get you back for this. You already tried to get me back because the hotel kicked you out because you're a junkie. <sighs> Junkie, pathetic scumbag. <sighs> what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Come near me and I'll show you. <sighs> Fucking pussy. Up. <sighs> You're gonna come. Big <sighs> prick. Right, we're out. We're out. We're out. Come on. Let's walk carefully. Fucking Scummy pussy. Old. Mate, I'm actually mad. Fun, you go right. Go right. Go right. Go right. Bro, what a scummy. Bro, I actually want to kill him. I mean, feel free. Feel free. I'll, I'll record it. Wait there, Dave. Fucking leave him. Pussy yeah. Fucking knob. Go right, go right. Are you okay? Are you sure he didn't hurt you? You shouldn't be out here this late with what's gone on. Ooh. Careful. There's no reason for you to be outside whatsoever when the baby's nearly here. Scummy prick. Oh, I wish we could have done so much more to him, bro. bro. We've got to do what we've got to do. Got to respect our wishes. You okay? Careful, there might be a hole there. I think there's holes on the way down. Just take every step as it comes. <laughs> you okay? Come back. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Take a baby. You okay? Oh, it's a fawn. No, I fell down a hole. I thought something bad had happened then. I did. I Fucking fell down prick. Hole I've got the camera right here. Is that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep stepping, keep stepping. That's it, it's gone. You okay? Right, we need to get her out of here quick right. time, bro. Fucking, there's holes in everywhere. You need to explain to us what happened when we get back, okay? And we'll go from there. Huh? Yeah, we'll get you home, we'll get you home, we'll get you home. I'm gonna cut the camera and keep the light working and we'll talk when we get home, yeah? Because I need to focus on you getting out of here and not fucking filming. Right, okay, so I have just finished editing this video, um, and I'm not my normal self right now. I don't know if you expect me to be, but after seeing what you have just seen, it's one thing having your girlfriend be kidnapped by anyone, let alone a crackhead, but my girlfriend that is pregnant with my child and is like four weeks of giving birth by a crackhead. You could have seen from the first video how scared me and Luke were getting close to this crackhead due to the fact that he was like carrying needles, like diseased or dirty needles. And then he's like, oh, I, I just don't know what to say. Little little background kind of like re-download or whatever you want to call it, just so I can kind of explain to you guys what happened. Oscar, uh, the, the crackhead, the homeless guy, the drug addict, whatever you want to call him, I don't have any respect for him anymore. I literally don't care. We found him at a location, an abandoned location, about 30, 40 minutes from our house. We found him living there and we decided to go there with a hamper for him. A hamper mixed with goods like a toothbrush, uh, soap, hair gel, you know, all that stuff, food vouchers. We actually took him shopping. I didn't actually record it because I didn't feel the need to. I thought that like the right thing to do would be to just like take him out for a couple of meals, do some shopping with him, spend a bit of money on him, try and help him out. We booked him into the drug rehab, which was going to be locking him inside for six weeks unless he wanted to check himself out. So he could really try his hardest to get off the, the heroin that he was taking and all the other drugs that he was doing and just get his life together and then maybe one day you could have seen him our friend in these videos and he didn't even last a week for three to four days off camera me and luke tried our hardest to help this guy out i literally booked a week off work so did luke like we earned nothing that week and every single day we turned up to his hotel room there were needles on the floor and he was passed out in the bed high as hell. Did he listen to us? No. Did we kick him out of the hotel? No. Did we report him? No. All we did was try and help him. And because 
for some reason, there was a bit of a mistake on the booking where me and Luke had actually only booked it for five nights and not seven, like we originally promised. Oscar got mad, and Oscar decided to help himself when he was in my car. He took a certificate that was in my car that had my address on. He found out where I live. He then knew when I was going to pick Luke up from the station because we were going to go and see him. And he knocked on the door of my house. He came inside and that is when he captured Daisy. Now, I don't want to go too much into detail about how he captured Daisy. All I want to stress to you guys is Daisy and the baby are completely fine. He actually didn't lay a single hand on her at all. And the baby hasn't been affected from this situation. But there's a reason you haven't seen Daisy in my videos in the last six, seven months. It's because I didn't want to be taking her to dangerous buildings buildings and putting her at risk. And unfortunately, this is what Oscar did. As I also said to you, that if the video that we uploaded where we found the body in the basket hits 2,000 likes, me and Luke would return to that place. I don't believe that Oscar has gone back there as of now, but I do believe that Oscar's friend is still living there. But we have also had reports from the police that he could be currently potentially involved, a current suspect, with the body in the basket. So we are going to go back at midnight in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully we can find Oscar's friend. We can maybe chat to him or we can maybe get him for the police. I don't know. The police seem to not be able to find him. I don't know if he's back there. Everything's a mystery. But as I said, Daisy is safe. The baby is safe. It's going to be due very soon and I'd really like to upload a video maybe on this channel of maybe a bit of the birth and something completely different to these horror videos for once. If you would like to see that, please drop a like down below. Let's get 2,000 likes. Let me know that that wants to happen. And yeah, this is just an unfortunate situation. It doesn't mean don't do nice things for people. I'm definitely going to continue to do nice things for people. But some people take an inch and then they take a leg. I did a lot of nice things for Oscar. So did Luke. And look at what this guy did to us. Anyway, if you didn't do the video, please smash a like. I put it together as quick as I can because I was actually getting really, really mad trying to edit the footage. And let me know in the comment section below what you thought about the situation. I saw you guys last week were loving the fact that we supported Oscar and you thought it was a really decent chap. And the madness of it actually all is we spent about 50 to 60 pounds in Primark on clothes for him. Man was still wearing the same clothes the whole week. I don't even think he showered. The point of having that hotel room was to get himself ready for rehab. Not to take more drugs and just have somewhere warmer to take them. It's pissed me off. It's pissed me off. What a load of wasted money. Thank you for watching. As I said, everyone's safe. Let me know some chat in the comment section below. We'll talk. And yeah, thank you everyone for supporting me. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe to Luke's channel down below. He's nearly at 2,000 subscribers, so go and subscribe to Luke as soon as possible. We will probably both see you next Sunday at 6 p.m. Peace!